There's a huge number of new homeowners entering the market. Millennials account for close to 40% of new homeowners. We keep hearing the pandemic and the impending lumber shortage is causing this real estate backlog, but experts say the problem goes back much further than that. When the 2008 economic crisis hit, housing production came to a dead halt. In every previous decade before that, anywhere between 20 to 30 million homes were built in this country. In the last decade, we only saw about 6 million homes being built across the nation. And it was even slower in Metro Detroit. Yes, you couple that with lumber prices and you have even bigger issues. That's starting to ease up a bit, but even so, it's going to be a while before the housing stock is beefed back up. We need these lumber prices to continue to come down, which has been very good in the last 45 days. That inflation on labor with that jumped it so much is starting to come down as labor inventory is increasing. Home building stars have almost tripled in the last 30 days, which is great. But we're probably about two years till we're out of the woods on home building. Again, just because it takes so long to find a, for a builder to find a plot of land, develop it, develop it with the city and then put the properties themselves on the land. It's a long process. You know, across the country, there's a shortage of more than 20 million homes that should have been built in the last decade, but were not. Huel? So, Root, what about the housing shortage here in Metro Detroit? How much is the inventory lagging here? Well, we know, of course, that it is lagging, and that's why there's such pent-up demand. I can tell you that there's a shortage of close to 700,000 homes, according to Michael Perna. Keep in mind, baby boomers aren't moving. Many of them want to say they're staying put, and millennials are now entering the market. You take that, the lumber shortage, the pandemic, and yes, what happened even 10 years ago, and things are tight. Could eventually be an entry point for some people later on. Who knows? Very true. All right, Ruth, thank you.